Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna catch up with Rob and his DIY hot tub build. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you've been following the blog or this YouTube channel, great opportunity to say subscribe to the channel, then you will have read or will have watched some of the videos on Rob and his DIY hot tub build in France. So Rob, an ex-Brit who's moved out to France, is building his own hot tub. Quick summary of this, he had a plastic shell tub, didn't like the build quality, was fed up of repairing it, so he decided that he was actually gonna build his own. So took great pleasure in smashing it up, removing that old plastic shell tub, and now he's in the process of building his own block-built DIY hot tub with my assistance. So where are we with Rob? Last time we left Rob, he had finished the plumbing and he'd moved on to start some work on the blocks. So in this video, we're gonna catch up with him and we're just gonna see some of the challenges that he's been facing with coring the holes into the CMU blocks. Now, he will explain on the video, he's got two different sizes of CMU block and the smaller of the two, he's finding that he's pretty much cracking them each time he's tried lots of different drills, different methods, and it's not really working for him. So what he's gonna do, he'll give you the answer when we catch up on the video with him shortly. Now, before we do, please do subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. If you've got an answer to why Rob's blocks are cracking whilst he's coring them, hit me up in the comments with those as well. Would love to hear from a a mason or a, a, a bricklayer that has lots of experience with this. If you are one, let us know. Give us the answer in the comments to what we should be doing for coring these holes the right way. Now, Rob's got a solution for us. So at this point, I'm gonna pass you over to Rob and we'll catch up with him in France and his build. Rob, over to you. Hi there, quick update for you. Okay, so you'll see. I've got a mix of blocks in here. I've got um, three courses of 200 and one course of 250. Uh, that was just to get the, the the right height finish I wanted. Now I've managed to drill the 250 blocks okay, <coughs> um, but the the 200 mil blocks you can see two over there at the top. They've both split. Um, luckily, I actually got all the way through them before they split. Um, but mostly, as you can see, but by my waste pile, um, it's just impossible. Um, th those two are still usable, they're okay. Um, but anyway, so I've had to think of another plan. So the plan now, and that's whatever I'm doing, whether I'm using hammer, no hammer, SGS, SGS Max, anything, it's just uh, split inverts of every block. Um, so what I'm going to do is a bit of a change of plan. I'm going to um, fit this this bottom row, the bottom row of um, gunite bodies in, and then I can concrete pour down here um, every other hole, every yeah, every other cavity, leaving leaving the um, ones that I need to drill, um, the ones that I need to still drill, leaving them without concrete but then everything will be tied together the blocks won't move um, and if they do split it shouldn't really matter because they, they won't they, they won't actually fall apart before I finish getting a hole through so that's the plan um, so I've got the skimmer roughly fitted so next job um, I need to put my rebars going down down the cavities and then fit the gun out bodies at the bottom Okay, see you soon. Rob, thanks ever so much for the update. Always great to hear how you're getting on. If I can help you in any way with your DIY hot tub, then please do let me know. You can get in touch via the comments. You can get in touch via the website, buildahottub.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you found this short video useful and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.